I say this. I heard Apostle Arome preach this. You see, you might take it as emotional, but you see, tongues can have different expressions. The way you speak in tongues when you're excited, it's not the way you speak in tongues when, you know, maybe casually in a day, you just go, you hit your leg, this is, oh, you know, when you're talking with, I'm talking to this emoji, and it gives me a solid word. I say, my God, that bad, that bad. but that's not the tongues you speak when you have your back against the wall. There is something that comes from the depth of your belly. When, have you ever had a deadline? When they say, if by 8 a.m. tomorrow, the money is not paid, and you, you are up at 1 a.m., you are counting seven hours. Who has been there before? They say, if by 10 a.m., that thing is not transferred, and you are in your room, and you, it's, in, it's not as if you have anybody to call. Who has been there before? You are pacing your room at night. Then something starts to do Uta Kaputa. Something comes from here. I am looking for people tonight who are wounded worshippers. You are wounded in your spirit. Your heart is crushed. You are looking to your right and your left. Disappointments everywhere. You have said, God, I have come to Mount Zion. Let the hand of God Move in my situation. Let the hand of God uh, move in my circumstance. If you are that person uh, with your face lifted up, uh, I don't want your normal tongues. Uh, cry out! Uh, cry out! Uh, cry out! Uh, let something shift. Uh, let something break. Uh, I discovered, watch this, I discovered that yes, you are permitted to sit down. It's not a normal, it cannot be a normal service. Ah, yeah. I discovered at a point in my life, this, there are seasons in your life, eh, that if God does not help you, Jesus, there are seasons in your life that if God, by the supremacy of God's authority, if God doesn't show you mercy, I say it this way, 
Pastor Jamie was talking about those who come from certain families. There are some of us, listen, eh? Two sets of demons are against you. Watch this. Listen to hear me closely. There is a foundation erected in the family. And you are, say, you are saying that God has chosen me to build a new foundation. But before you can build the new, you must first destroy the old. Jesus. So two sets of demons are against you. Ah. The demons resisting the breaking ah. and the demons resisting the building. Are you hearing me? Two sets of forces. The demons resisting saying, no, you can't break this ancient foundation of the one. And the sets of demons resisting the building. So that's why you get to a place. It feels like something is crushing your spirit. Something is weighing over your mind. Oh, I heard the psalmist say, he said that some of wickedness shall not exact upon you. Something is a, listen, I heard the man of God pray a prayer one time. He said, God, may my head not carry a load that you have not given me. Some people, there's a bedding over your life. There's something you are carrying. No matter how much you try to lift up your head, something pushing you down. That's why I had the semi say that many there be that said of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But he said, Oh God, but thou, oh God, are a shield for me. He said, My glory and the lifter up of my head. I heard him also say that the rulers take counsel against the Lord and the anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder. But thank God. He didn't end there. He said, He that seated in the heaven shall laugh, and the Lord shall have them in the reason. Micah said, Rejoice not over me, my enemy. For if I fall, they mock your falling, they mock your downfall. But if I fall, if I fall, if I fall, if I fall, if I fall what will happen? I will run. Tonight, tonight opens the gates to a new level. Jesus. Are we live? Okay, tonight opens the gate to a new level. Man. Tonight. If this service is for two people, I'm, I am fulfilled as a minister. I sense a bedding. I sense a bedding. I, listen, people say strong people. The only reason people are called strong people many times is not because they are strong. It's because they've learned how to hide their weaknesses. So the person you are calling a strong person, it's possible that throughout the night from 12 midnight to 5 a.m., ladies and gentlemen, ah. with a shout, ah. with a scream, ah. receive ah. the prophet of God. Ah. Somebody scream. People like Christ, if you are that person living here tonight with a blessing your life cannot contain, I permit you to shout, jump, run, lift up your hand. The, the walls that your prayers cannot pull down, Jesus. the walls, the limitation that your fasting cannot pull down. If you will shout one more time, my God, my God, my God, let the walls, let the walls, let the walls, let the walls. Tonight, I came with a staring. I don't know about you. I came wanting something desperately. I came wanting something. I came wanting something. Before the man of God comes, I want to acknowledge the presence of one of my day one brothers. Day one brothers. I mean day one brothers. It's, it's a blessing to be brothers in all kinds of things. But me and this man of God, we worried Dan Suma. Hey. Dan Suma didn't hear. Ah, I'm so yummy. Ah, God. I, I'm, I'm on life. Oh, Lord, help my life, Jesus. We worried Dan Suma. But it's a, it's, a, it's a blessing to be a brother with somebody when you were in that space and now have your encounter and still be a brother because he's now a pastor. And we never knew 
back then. We knew somehow, but it didn't just, you know how many of you, God doesn't show you the clear picture. God takes you here. But put your hands together and celebrate Pastor Michael. Come on, come on. celebrate him. I don't know, but you know him. He's, he's written you before. He knows you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please help me celebrate another. He wants to kill. He, he forcefully calls me Papa. I have refused the fatherhood and changed it to brotherhood. Because we go a long, 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 long way. Some of you here, was, I'm not sure you were in GHS when we were, we were together. Please, with a shout, Bismarck the joke! The day, the day we can finally afford a screen. There's a picture of his I want him to give to me. That will be my sermon on that day. I will show you his before and after. When you see the pictures, then we'll share the grace. You will come here. You have it. You will come here and drop your seed. You will know that. You will know that. Ah! You will know that God is wonderful. Jesus, Lord. There's a blessing in this service. Also, let me own the bragging rights. If you have seen the only film that you see, and talk in tongues and feel the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Nobody will preach to you. You will finish watching the film. You yourself will start blasting in tongues. If you have watched that film, then you know this woman is phenomenal. She's not ordinary. People carry graces in different level. Um, she may never hold them. She, 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 she has to, but she's yet still, still running away from it. But even if she doesn't stand behind the pulpit her life i believe is already a miracle and what god will do with her in this country in this country ladies and gentlemen with a shout Rosalind Kisha! i don't like that shout so please wait 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 celebrate amana esel Have a, another prophetic colossus in the house. This one is prophecies. He doesn't need you to do aye, aye, aye. He will stand somewhere and tell me, Pascal Bra. <laughs> prophetic there. Come on, celebrate, prophet. <laughs> Man, I'm going to wave. Let them see. Pastor Kingsman is here. Please, the last shout I want to hear is for yourself for being here tonight. Come on, lift up your hands and scream. Yeah. People like Christ. The next voice you hear in the next couple of minutes of the verse of this amazing man of God. He's a brother to me. He's ever before I ever started the church ministry when I was just doing outreaches. He embraced me, valued my ministry, has two awesome when I mean awesome, not in terms of ministry, in terms of size, branches. If you're from you're Nigerian here, you must know Port Harcourt and Wari has two massive structures in both cities. Travels the world. I mean, this is a man who goes to India and packs out halls and goes to Cambodia. Who goes to preach in Cambodia? I asked him, what are you looking for in Cambodia? He tours the world virtually. But I was saying to Pastor Mike a few moments ago that his humility is beyond me. When he wants to embarrass me, he will tell me I should come and lay hands. But I am aware of how cases can come. So I, <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a word preaching machine. Many of you often, when you want to hype me, you say I can preach. But this one is a word preaching machine. And the depth of the prophetic. Two things. Don't leave here tonight without one of these mantles. And if you have your passport here or any ID that has your name, I give you one minute to come and drop it on the altar now. I believe in what this man of God carries. Not because I'm trying to excite you. I totally believe that someone's life is about to change. Something is about to experience a shift in your life. Something is about to change. The next couple of minutes, I want you to get ready. I want you to get ready. Make sure you don't leave. I will have him anoint these mantles and... Tonight, you will see something awesome, something awesome, something awesome, something awesome. Hallelujah, something awesome. 
I'm still waiting. Any ID that has your name? Oh, that's, oh, I see the Ghana card. Wow. Hallelujah. Amazing. They say it's a visa. Is that true? Hallelujah. Amen. Is that all? I want to go on with it. Come on. Listen, my assignment tonight is simple. I want to prepare your heart. I want you to, listen, I want you to draw. Who's here me? I want you to draw something tonight. Draw something tonight. Draw something. I said, two days ago, I didn't even know he was coming to town. He just come in, and I believe it's divinely orchestrated. I want you to draw something tonight. Draw something. You see how we behave when we see, when Mama Charlotte comes here for Warriors and Hills. I mean, a few in that services. You see, I want you to be that hungry. Draw something tonight. Those of you who are watching online, welcome you tonight for tonight's service. If you are watching online, I want you to connect. Everybody, please take out your phones. I want you to help us share the live feed quickly before we proceed with the service. Take out your phones, help us share the live feed. We are broadcasting live from my page. My page is Pascal K. Amanfo. Quickly, share the feed. Everybody. Everybody, share the feed. We are broadcasting from my page. It's Pascal K. Amanfo. Take out your phones. Copy the link, paste on your WhatsApp, paste on every group that you are in. Come on, everybody. I want to see shares. Copy the link, paste on your Instagram story, your Facebook story, Snapchat, even though I will not call Majoli's name, hallelujah, but paste it there as well. Sabina, you have Facebook fans. You can paste there. I'm waiting for you. Tell them to join in. Tell them that the next couple of minutes will bless their life tremendously. Let the caption be, I dare you to connect tonight. I dare you to connect tonight. Something is about to happen. Spirit of the living God. Come on, everybody. I can't see your shares. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Come on, everybody. Paces on. Especially in the groups. Somebody put it in the PLC group. Mira, Mira, put it out in the PLC group. Ask them to connect everyone who could not make it here tonight. Lima handi paka rata pada kapasha dos. Finana mani kula ya Jesus. Lift burdens tonight, Lord. Fakan makatosh. Agula sani viruka. Binani nuna Jesus. Apaku ya sita balasi. Fia ya mani kula bada hasatakas. E pa 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 usa, se do ba ya ka ba ya tos, i kata, i kata, akula mara pa pa ya si atatos. Holy Ghost, se de me de me you kada maso. E pa pa ya tos. Come on, lift up your hands. I'm a yana be ya kula. Fele be ya para do kada sa.
the man to be the God you are. With your hands lifted up, somebody. But you are chosen. Hallelujah. Tell somebody nothing stops tonight. Nothing stops tonight. Tell two people nothing stops tonight. Say, as for this night, nothing stops tonight. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you really ready? Praise the Lord. Hold somebody's hands beside you. Okay, look for a prayer partner you trust. A prayer partner you trust. Someone you trust. Hold your hands. Hallelujah. I want you to look them in the eye directly. Tell them, I agree with you. I agree with you. Shout and say, I agree with you. That you and I, the both of us, none of us will live here tonight. Olivia tonight. The same way we came. The same way we came. I like who Bene is agreeing with. My God, my God, my God. <laughs> Say, I agree with you. I agree with you. We petition heaven. We petition heaven. As I'm holding your hand. Now, As I'm holding your hand. So shall my hand. So shall my hand. Touch my testimony. Touch my testimony. As I'm holding your hand. As I'm holding your hand. As you are real to me. As you are real to me. So shall my breakthrough. So shall my breakthrough. Be real to me. Be real to me. See, we agree tonight. We agree tonight. That tonight. That tonight. The door. The door. To the next season of my life. The next season of my life. It opens. It's open. It opens. It opens. It's open. It opens. It's open. It's open. It's open. Are we back on Sly? Okay, everybody, lift up your hands. The next voice you hear is the voice of God's servant. Lift up your hands. Now let your heart be lifted. The anointing is not in doubt. It's your ability to draw. I'm telling you, don't wait for any special time in this service. Don't wait for the worship as he's preaching. I want your, your spirit to catch something. Lift up your hands there. Something is in the atmosphere. My God. Venapaka. Send me that. Um, that, that song, that song, that song. Come on, lift it up. Lift up your hands. Come on, everybody. Thy will. Come on. Lift up your hands up. Fayana Makoyas. Fayana Bayuka. Are you ready, people like Christ? Lift it higher. Oh! 
What men have called impossible, what men have tamed impossible, whatever hand has written impossible, my God, I see fire coming on three people. What men have called impossible, you are carrying a tag. Yes, Lord. Something has been called yes, impossible Lord. in your life. Yes, Lord. My God, yes, Lord. by these clouds of fire. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. We are going to overturn the verdict of men. Right now. What men have termed impossible. Destinies that forces have sat upon. My God. song is a song that brings the man of God. There is something that, that makes me come into your, your presence. presence. I, I don't know about you. There is something that come into your presence. Let the church say People like Christ, Abraham lifted with a blast of tongue of desperation and hunger that says, God. You have come for me tonight. I want you to blast in tongue as we receive my brother. Come on, everybody, lift up those tongues. Lift up those tongues. Lift up those tongues. Lift up those tongues. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, God. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, God. Lift up your hands. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Elohim, and Adonai. Each to which you're still the same. By the power of your name, El Shaddai. El Shaddai Elohim El Adonai I will praise and lift you high El Shaddai Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Let the earth hear his voice Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Jesus, that's all. 
You see a hard man lose the wife. You see him cry like a baby. But that's not the worst thing you can lose. The worst thing you can lose in life is not even your child. Because when you lose children, you can reproduce other children. The worst thing you can lose in life is not houses, it's not cars. The worst thing you will lose in life is your glory as a man. Any time you lose your glory, life becomes chaff. The real thing is God. You start existing without living. The glory of a man is the life of a man. When the glory of a man departs, when you lose it, you can graduate with first class without a job. When you lose your glory, you are around helpers. They see you as helped, whereas you need help. When you lose glory, Anytime glory leaves a man, he becomes an opposite of what is written about him. In 1 Samuel chapter 5, the Bible said that they took the ark of the Lord. The Philistines took the ark of the Lord. And the glory of Israel was taken. And the ark of the Lord was taken to take on the God of the Philistines. And the first time the ark of the Lord departed was in chapter 4. When they, they went to battle, the Bible said, Eli was at the gate waiting to hear the news of the outcome of the battle. Scripture said a man ran to him and brought the bad news and said, Sir, Israel has lost the battle. Eli did not shake. Uh, he said, well, he, he could be in captivity for some years, we'll be back. The man said, that's not all. He said, your two sons, Ophenai and Phinehas, they were killed in the battle. Eli did not also shake. He said, I could have other children with my wife. I may be old, but I can still produce. And the man said to Eli, the ark of the Lord has been as soon as Eli heard that the ark of the Lord has been captured and the ark of the Lord has been taken away, that is the glory of Israel. It has been, it has departed. Scripture said, Eli screamed. He fell with his back, hit his neck on the floor. It broke and he died. You know why? Whenever glory departs, things are shattered. When Eli died, they went to the daughter-in-law, the wife of Phinehas. She was pregnant. And they came to her. They said, Madam, there's a bad news. Your husband is dead. She was still normal. Your father-in-law is dead. She was still normal. But when she also heard that the ark has been taken, she entered forceful labor. And as she began to travel, she delivered. And she named the child Ichabod because the glory is gone. And the Bible said, after naming the child, she also died. When your glory goes, life is finished. That is why you can be around those who are better than and they excel more than you. Because something has stopped. But lift up your right hand. Are you going to pray this prayer? Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. That has stopped my glory. That has stopped my glory. Tonight. Tonight. Restore my glory. Restore my glory. Restore my glory. Restore my glory. Open your mouth and ask God to restore your glory. Lay a pound to the back of the leper. Lay a pound to the back of the Shake it, 
Hallelujah. The only person that can talk to my wife at any time of the night. I purposely didn't bring her to Ghana. It was on purpose. Um, for them, on purpose. Praise God. Don't ask me why. Thank you, Lord. Job chapter 1. Job chapter 1, verse 1, verse 1. Are you there? Read. 
there was a certain man in the land of Uz whose name was Jehovah. And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and issued evil. Read verse 2, everybody. I can hear you. Read verse 2, everybody. Can you increase your volume? Read verse 2, everybody. His substance also, we are 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camel, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 she asses and a very great household so that that man was the greatest of all the men in the east. Verse 4, everybody. And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offering according to the number of them all. For Job said it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus, the Job do. How many times? Continually. Somebody say continually. The first thing I want to tell you tonight is that anytime you read the book of Job, it means someone in the service will get a job. Uh, because Job and Job is the same spelling. So tonight, I decree, I don't know who the person is, but before Friday, there is a new job that enters someone's hands. If you are the person, shout an amen like thunder. If you are the person, shout an amen like thunder. If you are the person, shout an amen like thunder. We have been read. The Bible said there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. Oftentimes, take it down a little. Oftentimes, when preachers preach about Job, they tell us the issues of Job's life. Whenever I want to talk about suffering, people bring in Job as an example. So whenever you hear Job, me, your mind enters suffering. But there is a part of Job they don't show us. Am I communicating here? There's a part of Job they don't reveal to us. As a matter of fact, if you read the scripture from Genesis to Revelation, the richest man in the Bible, even till date, was Solomon. The second richest man in, in, in the scripture was Job. The second richest man, so wealthy. Scripture said, this man was not just rich in his nation. He was from the land of Uz. Uz is like a nation like Ghana. So Job, the Bible said Job was the greatest in the land of Uz, comma, and in the whole east. So the eastern part of the place where his country was located. So when, when, if Job was to live in our generation today, Job would have, Job would have been Dangote. Because Dangote is the richest man in Nigeria and the richest man in West Africa. You can't talk about wealth without talking about Dangote. So that was who Job became in his lifetime. He was not just wealthy in his nation. In the whole East, he was the richest. And he was the greatest of all the men. Beautiful people of God, there are some of you under the sound of my voice. Inside your loins, there are seeds of greatness. But right now, you are not seeing any sign of the greatness manifested. What I came to do tonight is to breathe upon the seed you carry in your inside. And by the time we are done with this meeting, the greatness you carry will begin to manifest events around your life will begin to carry you into the manifestation of your greatness. I don't know how God is going to do it, but something will happen and the greatness in you shall begin to manifest. There are some of you God will give you an idea in your dream and when the idea comes, you implement the idea. You will provide solution to your generation. I see someone in this room today in the next four years, your name will go viral. Somebody say, I'm a great man. 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 Look at me. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? In four years, you will sit down in CNN and you'll be discussing. You'll be talking. Because, hold her. Hold her. Because there's this passion you have about the girl child. 
Katuni Yamashabarata, even in your little capacity, you've started it. You buy parts, you share to people. You, who is Alice? Who is Alice? Are you Alice? Ekura Bayanta, Eshagana Barabria Deca, Ipaconde Gediasa. In your li- you have begun what I'm saying. You've started it already. It's a foundation. Ayika Tanga Bayata. The Holy Ghost, I should tell you, is a keep hitting that thing. Because in four years, I see her cross her legs in CNN talking about the girl child empowering Africa is going to be brutal. You'll be proud of her as a daughter. Ikulayata, Jacaneta, Jerry Alamaraha, Ikayele Bondosa, the seed of greatness. I command you manifest, 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 manifest. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. This man was the greatest of all the men in the land of Uz and in the whole East. Sir, when you hear that a man is great, the first thing that enters your mind is what does he do? If a man walks in here and I tell you that's a great guy, you ask me, what does he do? Is he a footballer? Is he a musician? What again makes someone great? Is he, an, is he an oil magnet? Is he a politician? Is he a Yahoo Yahoo? Yes, is he a pastor? Pastor or pastor? Is he a pastor? Eh? You ask questions. Is he a kidnapper? Is, that, is, is, is the generation where we live in? The generation where people that have first class don't have job. And kidnappers in the bush are getting paid in dollars. So when you hear he say, this man is great, the first question is, what does he do? So when I read the scripture and I saw that Job was the greatest in the whole land of Uz and in the whole East, I began to ask myself, what was this guy doing that his mates were not doing? What was his occupation? I studied the scriptures. I discovered that there was no, there was no company. I was looking for a business. I didn't see any business. I was looking for what he was doing that made him richer than his mates. I saw nothing. And when I studied further, I discovered, thank you, I discovered that the occupation of Job, sir, was eating and drinking. Mm. How do I know? If you read verse 2, the Bible says he had seven sons and three daughters. And we have seven days in the week. He had seven sons. Verse 4, said every day each of the thorn, sons take turn to party in their house and they invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them. So what was the occupation of Job and his household? On Sunday, first son's turn for party. On Monday, second son party. On Tuesday, third son. On Wednesday, fourth son. On Thursday, fifth son. On Friday, sixth. On Saturday, seventh son. And on Sunday, the first son continues. So the routine in the house of Job was eating, drinking, eating, drinking every day. But the irony of the matter was that the more he eats, the richer he became. It was, a, it was an irony. You know, in, when, when you want to become wealthy, when you want to make money, you'll be advised to mise a little. You'll be advised to curtail your expenses. You'll be advised to watch how you spend money. But here is a man who was extravagant. Eating, drinking daily. And yet, he increased more than everyone. That is to tell you that there's a season every one of you is about to enter. A season where labor will not give you what you desire. A season where you begin to flow in the realms of favor. Am I communicating here? A season where it is not by how you labor, how you struggle, how you try. A season where God will tell you, son, daughter, fold your hands. Let me do it for you. Whatever Job was enjoying was not by his action, was not by his labor. There was a force that was pushing him and working for him and that's the force of favor when you carry favor you don't labor when you carry favor labor is an abuse when you carry favor there are these people die for you can't die for it how can he be eating and drinking every day and yet he increased something was working for him that was not working for others it was divine favor when favor follows you 
Favor folds your hand and does it for you. God takes your place and walks in your place. Am I talking to somebody here? Some of you, you hear favor, but you've never experienced it. If I am called of God in seven days, someone will give you what you have never received. Lord, anybody with the loudest amen, shock him, shock her, shock him, shock her, shock him, shock her. Shock her. Somebody say, Lord, show me favor like Job. Show me favor like Job. When you carry favor, you don't struggle. Favor is the light of God's countenance upon a man. When you carry favor, you begin to regulate regulations. Am I talking to somebody here? In the presence of favor, even your mistake is a style. Favor is the stamp of your salvation. Favor is the mark of your birthright. Favor is heavenly partiality against earthly acceptance. That's favor. Favor is, 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 is heavenly perfume that defies every bad order in life. Favor is divine acceptability. Favor is divine likability. You may be ugly. Favor, how do you explain where a girl with driver mark is wearing wedding gown and a beautiful yellow girl with figure eight is doing as she be for her? Favor is in place. How do you explain that? How do you explain that? Shilamandi Akabarata. Favor is the only element that disqualifies the qualified and qualifies the unqualified. That's what favor does. When you carry favor, you receive grace to climb into an altitude you never wish you can enter. When you carry favor, favor is, is the flavor that colors the labor of a man. I've seen men who never look like it, but when they were favored, life changed. Look at me. You may not start with favor. Your life may be filled with labor now. That's not my concern. God can intercept. There is an interception. I said there is an interception. Did you hear what I said? There is what? An interception. There's an interception. There's an interception. There's an interception. A young girl, when she was born, her life was filled with labor. Read the scriptures. I'm talking about the mother of Jesus. Mary was her name. When the mother gave birth to her, the mother gave birth to her in pain. And the mother looked at her and said, because of the pain you caused me, bitterness will follow you all your life. And the mother named her Mary. What does Mary mean? Bitterness. That's the meaning of Mary. Mary means bitterness. And whatever you are named follows you from childhood. So as soon as she was born, they named her Mary. Bitterness began to follow her. How do I know? In the land of Israel, if you give birth to a girl, you betroth her to a boy. So that when they grow, both of them must marry. They marry by betrothal. Am I communicating here? So when they gave birth to Mary and her mates, they were betrothing her mates to future governors, future senators, future house of assembly, future MPs. But because of the bitterness in her name, she was betrothed to a future carpenter. So it began to work on her. It began to work on her from childhood. And she suffered labor as she grew. One day, when heaven had the meeting, heaven casted a lot. And, 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 and by then, something had changed in her life. And heaven chose her to be the carrier of God. To carry God and bring forth God. That was why when the angel appeared to her, before the angel could talk, the angel had to hail her first. He said, Mary, I hail you. Hail me. Hail Mary. Full of grace. So I am here today because your grace is full. What is favor? Favor is when a man's grace is full. The fullness of your grace is what attracted me. It wasn't the name Mary. Your grace is full, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And that was the day Mary stepped out of labor and entered into favor. And life began to change. Am I talking to someone here? There is someone listening to me. The Lord says, I should tell you in the next seven days, what nobody has ever given to your family, you will be the first to receive it. I wish your amen will be louder. You'll be the first to receive it. You'll be the first to receive it. Receive that job, receive that contract, receive that breakthrough, receive that miracle. Somebody say, Lord, show me favor. When you carry favor, 
you carry favor, you live where you should die. A favored man does not die like a fowl. They don't die like a chicken. One day, a little boy was, was being born. When they gave birth to him, it was a wrong time. When male children were not needed in the land of Egypt, and the mother of Moses tried to hide him for three months. After three months, scripture said, when the mother could no longer hide him, the mother carried him. I said, let me go and keep this boy somewhere so that I can concentrate on my life. Let me go and hide him where he can fend for himself. Listen to this. Gila Bataya. If you want to hide your child, you should go and look for an uncompleted beauty and hide your baby. You don't hide the child by the bank of the river. Did you hear what I said? In a basket by the bank of the river. You've tried to save guide him for three months when you saw that if you keep trying, they may kill you and kill him. You don't want to hide him. You took him by the bank of the river. How? Why? For what? What is he doing at the bank? Of, what if the river overflows and carries him? God gave the mother the revelation that this boy you are going to drop has a future with Red Sea. So keep him by the water. Let him get familiar with water as a child. So that when he leaves the Red Sea, it will not be, it will not be a big deal. He will tell the sea, no matter what it is, I've been around you since I was a child. So God, God, God had to build his spirit and kept him there. Where he should die. The next morning, Pharaoh's daughter woke up from sleep, stretched herself, entered the jacuzzi, was not walking, got to the shower. She remembered her hair. She said, no, I can't, I, can't, I can't do anything with this shower. Let me go to River Nile and bath. What is special about River Nile? Let me go there and bath. As she got to River Nile, while she, as she put her leg in the water, the Bible says she had the cry of the boy. She stepped out and went and saw the boy was a Hebrew boy. But he, she carried the boy and said, ah, this one is not handsome. This one is too beautiful to look upon. And she carried him and turned back, went back to the palace. She didn't bath again. Mission accomplished. You know why? Favor attracted her from the palace. Originally, she did not come to bath. She came to adopt a favored child. Am I talking to someone here? If you are under the sound of my voice, kings and queens will look for you. Great men and great women will look for you. Lord, if they shout an amen, connect them to those connected. To their destinies. If I hear your amen, you are receiving it now. You are receiving it now. Somebody say, I receive favor. Say, I receive favor. Say, I receive favor. Take it down. When you got favor, mistakes turn to miracles. Did you hear what I said? How do you explain that a slave girl became a queen in a foreign land? Is it possible? It's not possible. You are Ghanaian. Are you an American? You are not an American. How can you be a queen in America? When you were a slave in America, is it possible? It's not possible. But favor made it possible. How? One day, the king said to Vashti, come and show your beauty. Let my cabinet men see that I married a beautiful wife. She refused to come. Why did she refuse to come? According to the law of media and Persia, a queen is not supposed to show her beauty to anybody apart from the king. So she was trying to obey the law. But the king was drunk. Because the drink had party for four months. The king had party for four months. Three months and ten days. Nine hundred days. I'll be mean ninety days. Had party. He was drunk. And he made a stupid request. The woman said, I'm not coming. I want to keep the law. The king got angry. And said, remove her as a queen. He said, cast, cast, cast. Let, them, let people buy for me. I need to do a beauty contest. Let me select another queen who will replace her. And this girl was a slave girl. The only person in her life was a, was a gate man. The uncle Mordecai used his life savings to buy the, buy the beauty pageant for, for Esther. Nothing to do. Who, you know, who teach a man to work out? Nothing. But from the day they were entering the, the camp of the beauty contest, the keeper of the women, the commissioner for women affairs, his name was Hagar. The Bible says Hagar saw her and she found favor in the sight of Hagar. And Hagar separated her and supplied her all she needed and told her madam listen i don't know why i like you but i want to tell you something forget all these things all these girls are doing i have been with the king i've stayed with the king i know the ideal woman in the heart of the king so i'm going to give you the secret when you meet favor you meet who needs who knows what you need did you hear what i said every other girl we are doing what they felt 
it took someone close to the king to reveal the secrets of the woman in the heart of the king. And this guy revealed it to Esther. And the Bible said, when it was the turn of Esther, when the turn of Esther came, meaning other girls were passing before Esther. Life is turn by turn. When they passed, the king said, no, no. Some of them, their fathers were senators. Some of them, their fathers, they are big business people who were bringing contract to the king. But the king never took anyone. When the turn of Esther came, scripture said Esther was passing in fear and trembling. You know what it means? When it was Esther's turn, she was not catwalking. She was not keeping her hand like this. Esther was passing like this. She was biting her nail. Who am I to pass before the king? Hey, I'm an ordinary slave. My uncle is, I never wanted this, 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 this pageant. My uncle forced me. Oh Lord, make I work come out. As she, they shake, they pass. The king looked at her. You know the reason the king re rejected Vashti? Was because Vashti was disobedient. The king said in, her, in his heart, this one shaking like this. This one that shake, shaking like this. Anything I tell her, she go to him, come and be my queen. That was how Esther won the contest. It was a mistake. But her mistake became a star. When you carry favor, you enter rooms you never wish, knew you could enter. One time I was traveling. It's my time off. One time, one, one time I was traveling. I was in, okay. I wanted to travel. I came to the office. I wanted to pick some things from the office. While I was inside, a widow came to church with her three children, and I met my secretary and said, "Please, I want to see Papa." And my secretary said, ah, "He's around, but he's traveling now, so he's he's in a hurry." The woman said, "Ah, I've been trying to see him for two months." This one I saw, I saw, I was passing, I saw the car. I said, ah, maybe he's around. I said, please, let me just, this woman said, my second is saying, no, you can't see him. So while they were talking, I came out of the office and then came down. I was, I was passing. She saw me. She left the secretary. She ran to me. She held my legs. And she began to cry. She said, please, sir, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not your member. I'm a widow. I have things to do for people that are not even your member. There is no other hope I have. It's just you. I came to you. Please don't despise me. Don't see me and change. My husband is late. I have three children. We don't have food to eat. They don't go to school. Landlord no. is on our neck. Three problems. So while she was talking, I said, Madam, me, the secretary, brought your number and your, and your details. There's something we do for people like you. We don't just give you money. We set you up so that you can fend for yourself. So when I return in five days, I will see you. I was about to leave. As I entered the car, my driver was driving out. God said to me, I sent that woman. I told him to stop, reverse, he reversed. And we went back to church. I came down. I had 170,000 naira in my pocket, cash, as at that time. And I said to her, how much is your house rent? She said, sir, 90,000 naira only. I said, 90,000. She said, yes. I took 90 from the money and I gave her. I asked her, how much is your children's school fees? She said, 20, 20,000, three of them. So that was 60,000. I took 60,000. I gave her. I was about to leave. God said, one day eat till you come back. So I turned back again. I said, um, okay, I'm going to give you 15,000 out of the 20 I have. Buy foodstuff. When I return in five days, I will see you. She fell on the floor. She was rolling. She was blessing me. I entered the car. I zoomed off. I was rushing to the airport. I nearly missed my flight. When I got to the airport, I flew to Lagos. While I flew to Lagos, I said to myself, let me collect my boarding pass first. Then I'll now go and maybe transfer to people that change money so I can get dollars I'll travel with. While I was in the line, trying to get my boarding pass, three people were in my front. A man was just in my front. Two other people were before him. And then the guy would stay, stay. He would turn and look at me. He would turn again. He was looking at me somehow. So when it was his turn, he turned. He said, prophet. I said, yes. He said, hey, it's you. It's you. I said, me, who? What did I do? He carried me by the hand and took me by the side. He said, you are the one. I've been looking at your face. I've been asking myself, is he or is he not you? Uh -uh. You prophesied to me in our church. You told me I'll get an international job and that I'll be so big, biggest in my family. And that prophecy came to pass in two months. And then I said, really? He said, yes. He said, now work with United Nations. In fact, our overall boss, he found favor in me and took me as his personal assistant. I carry his money bag. We travel from nation to nation. He said, I've been so blessed. I do contracts. We want to do things for people. People pass through me before they can see him. He was just talking. I said, wow, powerful. He said, ah, your God is, the way you said it was how it happened. I said, which church? 
He said, ah, ah, in our church in Surulere, in Equa, Equa, Equa is a, a evangelical community of West Africa, something, something. And the, I know that in my entire life, I've never preached in Equa before. So I wanted to say, I've not preached in Equa before. I said, I've not. He said, sir, you are too much. His voice overshadowed my own. I closed my mouth again. He was talking, talking, talking. He said, where are you going? I said, I'm going to South Korea. I'm going to Seoul. He said, ah, for what? I said, I'm going to preach for a Redeem um, Asia Convention. He said, ah, really? He said, okay. Hi, hi. I've been looking for a way to see you. Please, can I give you money? Can I bless you? It's a privilege. I said, why not? He opened his purse and counted $20,000. Stretched his hands. I quickly took it before he changes his mind. Delay is dangerous in matters like that. I stretched my hand. I took it. And I put it in my pocket. And I told him, give me your hands. He gave me his hands. You know, there's the kind of money I will give you. If you're praying, you won't know when you start speaking your dialect. Ask, ask Apostle. He will tell you <coughs> what I'm saying. He says, I carry money and give him now. You see what will happen. He will not mind whether you hear it or not. So, why he held me. And I held him. And I began to pray for him. I was praying. And I began to, I thought he was Igbo. You know, he was looking like, so I was praying. I said, Iga na aga, na abata. Iga na aga, aga, na abata. He was saying amen. He's an Igbo guy. He was saying amen. I was praying. I was speaking, I was speaking Igbo. I was saying, they will not see you. He said, Amen. After prayers, he took off his hands and he said, Man of God, he now called me prophet. I've forgotten the name he called me. It wasn't my name. He said, Ah, uh-uh. when you were praying, you were speaking my dialect. I thought you were Ghanaian. That was when God told me that the person who prophesied to him was a Ghanaian prophet that looked like me. But because I sorted out the woman in a weary. He had to make me look like who I am not. Somebody said favor. So when he said that, as a Bible scholar and a sharp man, I said to him, ah, was I speaking your language? He said, yes. I said, I didn't know. I was speaking in tongues. Somebody will say, ah, pastor, you lied. Though. I didn't lie. I didn't lie. You know why? Igbo is a tongue. English is a tongue. Even the Bible said there are tongues of men and tongues of angels. So I was speaking in tongues. It doesn't matter the tongue I was speaking. God punish the devil. He said, wow. He was more excited that a Ghanaian prophet could pray in his dialect. I said, even in as of apostles, when the apostles were speaking in tongues, they were not speaking heavenly tongues. They were speaking tongues of men. Because people that came from all over the world, we are hearing their language. I quickly discharge before something will cast. Am I communicating? Open your two hands. I want to bless you. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my face. There are things God can do. And something will change. I'm not joking. There are things God can do. Who is Kate? Who is Kate? Who is Kate? Who is Kate? Kate? Are you Kate? Where is your husband? Eh? Where is your husband? He's he, he's in the house. Is he is the husband the member of this place? He comes spare somehow, somehow. Eh? Because I saw in the spirit. While I was talking right here, I saw a woman with tears in her eyes. I saw her wearing long black gown. And I saw two people who, who have vowed. And they said, Kissy. Is it Kissy? 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 Is, 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 there, is there a husband's name? Yes, please. We should be a lakatu. Nikabato ni alabahara. Ogriate. Jiki paruzi ni alabahara. I saw two people who held hands together. And they opened the grave. They were before an, they are, they are before a, a native doctor. Opened the grave and they wrapped something around and they wrote kissy on it. And they put it inside. Now as I speak to you, sir, as I'm talking to you now, his stomach is not his stomach. His heart is beating fast. His body is so hot. 
His temperature. Am I talking? He's very sick in the house. He went to the hospital. He went to the hospital on Friday. Clap your hands, somebody. Listen. Ziakwata baratisha. Idana nuande kizi baradiash. God sent me for few persons, and you're one of them. Listen to me. God is going to do something. Wednesday and Friday, these two people will die. If you shout an amen, anybody that has their eyes on you, God will take their life. God will take their life. God will take their life. If I hear an amen, they will die. There's going to be an angelic visitation. An angel will come to him with the face of your pastor. Not my face, because if, I, if the angel comes with my face, he will run away. He doesn't know me. Angelic visitation are made possible by the basis of men who you have met and who you believe in, who you see sometimes. Am I communicating? So that when you see them, you won't run away from them. You will get close to them and receive them. Am I communicating? The Lord says, I should tell you, Jabataya. Tell him to expect these angels. They will come and walk on his body. The, 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 the thing is spiritual poison. He's going to vomit in that dream. And everything will go. He will wake up in the morning and be normal. He will, it will even shock you. And then if by Wednesday and Friday, something will happen. Those that open the grave, they will fall into the grave. Receive grace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Are you getting blessed here? Stretch. Stretch your hands. Stretch those hands. Thank you, Jesus. Look at my face. Whatever you have never seen, whatever you've never recorded, you're not too young for it. Did you hear what I said? You're not what? I started preaching at the age of nine. I had my first widows. I had my first crusade at nine. At nine, you need to be early. And I was wearing coat and canvas, not suit, coat. I was on the chair. I've seen God in diverse ways. I'm not joking. You're not too young for what I see. You're not too young. I've seen God in diverse ways. I, I, I became blessed very early in life. I saw my first million at 17. At 22, I prayed for a woman that had breast cancer in St. Matthew's Anglican Church in Maitama. And God took away cancer from her. I didn't know she was an ex-minister of the state. And she told God she had gone to everywhere. No hope. She's been crying and she had a covenant with God. If you heal me, whatever remaining in my account, I'll share it into two and give you half. I finished preaching. I was about to leave. They brought a woman that was looking like a bonga fish. The thing has eaten deep. I didn't even know what was wrong. I took what I was drinking, I gave, I said, drink. And I left. That was all. You know, when God wants to do something, he will humble you and show you that it's not your prayer. It's not by how you shout. He will tell you, this is me doing this, not you. And that was how cancer crushed. Three months later, she had gone to everywhere at church, no trace of cancer. And she returned with thanksgiving. And when she came for testimony, she brought a paper, very flat paper. I opened it. It was huge money, very huge. Very, very huge. I won't mention the amount, but very huge. It was huge. Very huge. And then, I was 22. So the next day, I had to marry because I was rich. When I told my wife I want to marry you, she didn't pray about it. Why would you pray? What are you praying for? All you are looking for is there. What are you? You can't pray. No, she didn't even think. Her mother told me that God told them I was coming. I say you are a liar. <laughs> Open those hands. You are not too young for what I see. I see passports here. I started traveling when I was small. I've used up five passports. I'm on my sixth. I've been to every continent preaching this gospel. Every continent, Australia inclusive, everywhere. 
everywhere. There is no young pastor that travels like me in the whole Nigeria. Nobody. Sometimes I go to, you know, I'll do, I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll go to America for one night vigil, preach the next day and back. Back to back everywhere. At a, at a young But because he was not there, he had a redeemer, but he had no advocate. I know my redeemer liver, but there was no advocate. Nobody could speak for him. That's why he cried. He said, oh, I wish I had a mediator. Nobody could. So he was absent. If the blessing I'm about to release hits you, don't be absent from his place. If God gives you that job you are looking for, let it not be an excuse for absence. Most times, people see the light of a blessing in their life and they are no more there. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? There are some people, this thing, what I'm saying now happens in churches a lot. Someone will be coming, daddy, pray for me, daddy, this one. When blessing comes, they stop, they start, they, they now come once a month. They come once in three weeks. They come once in. That is not how to sustain greatness. If you must sustain greatness, I'm rounding off now. If you must sustain greatness, you must be punctual. You must be consistent. I was telling them something when you were not here. I was talking about how Job fell. The first thing that pushed him down was that he became familiar with God. You know, God attested for him. God said, my son is upright, blameless. He fears me and he shuns evil. So because of how close he was with God, the sons of God came to present themselves before God in Job chapter 2 verse 1. Even Satan came for the meeting, but Job was absent. He was
was not there. And when Satan came and saw his seat empty, Satan went and sat on his seat. God was discussing with people. He wanted to discuss with the owner of the seat. He was not there. He began to discuss with Satan over Job's matter. There are people who are this in this church. If you can remember, when you started, they were everywhere carrying it on their head. And you kept speaking grace upon them. As soon as they saw light, they now come once in a month. Sometimes they don't come at all. You know why? They, have, they felt they have arrived. But when one problem hits them now, they start looking for you again. Job felt he had arrived. And God allowed Satan to try him. Never you be too busy for this commission God has given you. If you're a member here, God sent us to plant you here. No matter the amount you have, keep being here. In fact, as a matter of fact, the more God blesses you, the more available you should make yourself. Because when blessings increase, fights increase. You need God more than when you are poor, when you have money. Am I talking to someone here? That's the first thing that made him crash. The second thing that made Job crash was his life partner. Who you marry determines who you become. Who enters your life? You, are, Those of you that are not married, be very careful when you want to enter a home. Because your husband can crash your glory. Your wife can damage your glory. Your wife can also lift your glory. It is a two-way thing. The wife of Job. Have you wondered why when Satan came to attack Job, everything was attacked. The children of Job died. His cattle died. Everything, even Job was attacked. So, so, so everywhere. The only person that was not attacked was the wife of Job. You know why? When the affliction came, the affliction saw that the wife of Job was already an affliction to Job. So affliction cannot afflict affliction. Preaching good? Yeah. Affliction cannot afflict affliction. If you did physics, you know that light poles repair. Hey. <laughs> Job's wife, affliction. Useless man, cause your God and that. That's affliction. <laughs> Stretch your two hands. No matter how long it has been. Now look at me. Take it down a little. As soon as Job began to suffer, he suffered from chapter 1 verse 17 till chapter 42 verse 7. Yes. Hmm? 30 chapters. No, 41 chapters. He started suffering from chapter 1. His children began to die in verse 13. They finished dying in verse 17. And he started suffering. He suffered in chapter 42, verse 7. And Job, the book of Job, ended in chapter 42. So he suffered all the books of his life. That's why people use him for, for suffering. No matter how long you've suffered, there's a solution. Please take one step out of your seat. I want to pray. Take one step out of your seat. Open your two hands. Some of you here, you have been in that room where you had it all. And right now, it looks like everything has gone. Some of you, you've been have you've had promises that should make you who you're supposed to be. But right now, no promise at all is even coming, no hope. And you're asking God, how long will I be like this? Lift up your two hands. You're going to cry to God to restore you. You're going to cry to God to do what? To restore you. Lift your two hands. Say, my father, the spirit of restoration. The spirit of restoration. Enter me. Enter me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. <laughs> Rabaka, 
service is an encounter you remember forever. Yeah. Sir, miracle visas, miracle jobs, miracle connections, false scholarships. Open those hands. Let me pray for you. a house. Have you built a house? When do you want to build a house? Next year. Next year. Go, go. How can he be joking? Are you in his mind? Wait. Who is Isaac? Who is Isaac? down. I want to anoint you from my head. When your mother was pregnant for you, she made a promise to God that she was going to return you back to God. This guy was not in Accra. I made him come from Winneba. I made him come from Winneba for this meeting. For this, I told him last night. I said there's something for you in this service. He came in from whenever. I, in fact, I sent him money for transportation to be here tonight. Because I saw a big billboard in New York with his face. I saw another one in Canada with his face. I saw another one in Divers. I saw, I saw Divers. I saw nations connected to his loins. Because the promise your mother, if she, if, when the mother was pregnant, ask your mom. She was bleeding for the nine months. She was pregnant for him. And in the people that I'm seeing, I'm seeing Isaac like, are you, are you something? Are you tea? I can't, I can't, I can't pronounce. But that's what I saw in the people. Give me oil. Give me oil. Look at my face. I became another man. When a man who had what I needed turned oil from his head and he ran through my head, I was changed into another man. What I'm about to do, I don't do it. Anytime I do it, it takes me days to recover from what I, I just did. But I don't know why I'm doing this. The Lord said to me, don't let this destiny waste. He said, pour this oil on him so he can begin on time. Creations are waiting for your manifestation. I know you love God. But there is another dimension of God that God is about to show you. Who, who has five brothers? Come. Touch your stomach. Look at me. Do you know her? Very well. You go to hospital and the report will change. Look at me. God is going to swallow it. God will swallow it. God will take it like this. Swallow it. And it will leave you forever. 
They've told you to come for surgery. Eh? Severally. But there's no money. And you didn't want, because you are, you are scared. If you enter, you may go from there. So you don't want knife. And each time, each time your monthly stuff comes, it stays longer than it's supposed to be. Sometimes you take drugs for it to stop. It becomes a problem and a body. Whenever it comes, you don't step out. Especially the first two days. It's a serious issue. You know, when Moses came to Pharaoh, the first thing that happened was that he dropped his rod, it became a snake. And Pharaoh said, ah, this one, a few do have. We call all the magicians. It's all, the, all his scientists. They dropped their own rod, it became snake. If you enter a, a doctor's office, behind every doctor's chair, you see a calendar that has rod and snake. That's the symbol of medicine. The symbol of medicine is rod and snake. Bible said that the snake of Moses swallowed the rod and the snake of the magicians. God was trying to tell Pharaoh, I can swallow science. The, doc, the report doctors give you is not final. I can swallow it and change it. Father, the cause of this fibroid, we crush you. Now, go! Go from that stomach. We rebuke you and I destroy you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's gone. Tomorrow. Not next tomorrow. Tomorrow. Go and confirm. Father, I bless Isaac. From my head, I turn oil. Extraordinary strategies, impossibility specialist. You see, Teddy, you make me act a fool. Incredible. Somebody lift up your hands wherever you want it. According to your knowledge and your will for me, what you say you are done, I just need to lie. Because you are not a man. Take me. Yes, I love you. Not in horses. Lift up your hands. But I am no man.
direction of his life. What I'm saying now is in the opposite direction of his life. So that when but when it will happen, everybody will know that this is God. What I'm saying is the is in the opposite direction. Is in his life now. There is no way it can happen. But it's going to pay you a huge tithe that will shock you. And make sure you bring my share. Because it's very important for more to come. You eat alone. I cannot say that one. Look at me. Where you are coming from is a trench. Where you are coming from is battered, shattered rejected, relegated, downcasted. Where you're coming from is zero. No light. Darkness is everywhere. Because the darkness was projected three generations ago and nobody has been able to break it. There's a prayer you made. There's a fasting you fasted. And all your cry was, Lord, use me in my family. God said, I heard you. But there was no sign for you to know I heard you. And I brought my servant to tell you that I heard you. <laughs> Jesus! He buried in 
Imagine me living life without you. Everything is incomplete without you. Life makes no meaning without you. Imagine me living life without you. Everything is incomplete without you. Hey, Shana Balia. Lord, I wipe these tears. And I declare that thing you want to do that cannot be explained by man. Let every element of nature, sun, moon, star, atmosphere, water, land, every element of nature, let them say yes unto what I'm saying to you. And let your season come.
Open those hands. Thank you, Lord. I pray for those watching online. Favor rest on them. Grace. Connect to them. There are three people watching me online from America. You've been waiting for your papers. If I, one of you was disappointed last week and tears has been in your eyes, the Lord said in four months, you're getting all you lost. There's someone watching me from London. You, you, you failed an exam. What I'm about to say sounds strange, but the mistake was made. The mistake could be corrected to your own favor. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As a pregnant woman online, your pregnancy has crossed nine months. The Lord said in two days, you deliver. Thank you, Lord. Sir, there are seven people I want to put upon their life. Please look at me if you are sitting stand. There are seven of you I want to put upon your life. Every man you see that is great, he becomes a shortcut to your greatness. The journey of 40 years can be reduced to 40 days at the appearance of a man. When you see someone carrying what you need, he becomes a boycott to the destination you desire. I've seen God in several ways. Give me your hands. God is going to bless you. Help me. I'm going to talk to you now. Not God is going to bless you. God will bless your heart.